joining us at the Green Tech Festival live stream here from Berlin Mitte. And right now I'm standing at the booth of Mono Market. And with me is the CEO, Dominic. It's Hi. a pleasure having you at the Green Tech Festival. Thanks for having, having Why us. Why did you decide to come to the Green Tech Festival? Uh, in general, it's a, it's a great place to meet uh, like-minded people who have the same passion for uh, sustainability. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's our main, main goal to uh, achieve sustainability with our products, uh, even if it's pretty hard um, to, to reach this kind of uh, sustainability in all kind of chains. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what we're seeing is your huge variety of products. You started with the tea, but it's not the only thing you are presenting at the Green Tech Festival. What else do you have? Exactly. Yeah, we started with uh, the tea products. Um, so we started with the product Mono Tea, first of all. But uh, now we are extending our product portfolio uh, in different niches, uh, but all under the same uh, uh, main um, idea of, uh, of plant-based products, um, as well as uh, like the main uh, concept of, of Mono is um, to, to get rid of all unnecessary mm -hmm. Um, components like um, aromas, sugar, sugar. and uh, yeah. So it's definitely a healthy product, right? It's, it's a healthy product. Like all of our products are completely healthy and uh, like vegan by nature, mm -hmm. um, all of them. So, so yeah, that's it. That's, uh, Which one is like uh, the favorite flavor of the people? Uh, favorite flavor, I would say like one of our first first pro uh, products we launched is uh, lemongrass, lemongrass apple mint, mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorites as well, as well as the uh, fruit chips, uh, strawberries. Like pretty simple to understand, but uh, pretty good as well. And you were talking about the ingredients. Um, yeah. Where do you get the the material from? So we source like all of our suppliers are uh, kind of licensed, um, mm -hmm. either organic or um, have any kind of sustainability, uh, fair trade, um, and we try to yeah, make the uh, transportation as, uh, as transparent as possible. And yeah, all of our products are sourced uh, sustainable in this way that we uh, track where they come from, that they are uh, produced and um, uh, yeah, in a, in a, in a good sustainable way. way. In a sustainable yeah. way. Food always goes along with packaging, right? Yeah. Uh, how do you contribute to that? So um, we know we still know that we produce waste. That's uh, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a that's the poor fact mm -hmm. uh, when you like launch products. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, but uh, as I said, like uh, it's very important, and we did that uh, on the first uh, side or in the in the first way uh, to to calculate uh, um, the emission of our mm -hmm. of our uh, products and the waste of it and for our products um, the carton package is the most sustainable because it's light um, so it, it it's the space is uh, used in the best way uh, in, in, in when it's transported so yeah that's what we can do and what's the biggest challenge for you as a company you are facing it, it's it's sustainability like uh, to be honest because like I said before it's 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 a huge challenge uh, as a food, food, food producer um, to yeah on the one hand to to sell products and to make a product bigger but on the other, other hand to uh, get rid of the waste so sure. that's uh, the biggest challenge with and where so. can I buy one of those delicious things um, in different retail chains so we started with uh, organic stores for example here in Berlin a bio mm -hmm. company uh, and different other huge chains like uh, Rewe um, and yeah, we expanded to different countries, European countries. Mm -hmm. That's mainly or convenience stores, airport stores. And you were talking about tracking your own carbon emission of your products. Yeah. Do you do anything for reducing this as well? Um, as I said before, like uh, we try to um, find new ways of packaging. Mm -hmm. Um, we, are, we are closely talking to Elopak, who are supplying uh, the carton package, mm -hmm. uh, still working on, on uh, more sustainable packaging, mm -hmm. um, like the lid, that it's not out of plastic. So that's what we are working for as well with the fruit chips that we get rid of plastic or yeah, any kind of 
ways. Mm, that's super nice. And what are you looking for at the Green Tech Festival? I mean, uh, there are so many different corporates, so many startups, interesting people to talk to. What's your goal? As you mentioned, I think that describes it perfectly to meet other startups, um, big corpor corporates uh, who try to get more sustainable, mm -hmm. but as well like to get exchange or have an exchange with uh, different startups. Uh, yeah, we have the same mindset and uh, that's true. That's and achieve the same. Try to achieve the same goals. And what did you learn so far? What surprised you? Um, I was first of all, it was surprisingly that after like COVID, yeah. uh, it was the first time to meet people again. It was really, yeah, it was a great moment. Just I think that's uh, first of all, that's uh, yeah, yeah, it's a special thing. feeling, that's definitely a special feeling. Yeah, and um, I'm quite surprised that it's well organized and uh, it's, a, it's a great uh, yeah there are great personalities uh, who, who came by the stand and yeah so I'm really happy to be here thank you very much Dominic for your Thanks. time you at home should try this one it's really delicious and yeah we wish you all the best